Are you guaranteed by anyone, Riga? Oh, hell. I could have taken Riga at some point. Bloody hell. Well, I don't really need to improve relations with you if you are under personal unit under Poland. I should just raise relations with Poland then. <laughs> Crap. Ah, uh, I should have paid more attention to this kind of stuff. Oh well. But yeah, uh, seeing that we are kind of boned anyway, if uh, anyone drops in, I think I'm just going to declare war on Riga and try to grab them while uh, uh, all all the other <laughs> nations around me are distracted. So let's. Uh, yeah, two, two, two taunts didn't uh, join this war on our side. Uh, how about the Hansa did join? Okay, fantastic. So the Hansa can actually uh, invade Denmark maybe from the south, and their navy, although ridiculously small, might just do something against uh, Denmark and Sweden and so on. But yeah, as soon as my diplomat here uh, gets home, I'm going to declare on <laughs> Riga and uh, see if we can grab grab that while uh, while this war is going on. I'm not going to call in the two tons to this. I'm just going to grab my units and go and uh, remember to fund them. Holy hell! Almost did a horrible boo-boo there. And they are actually coming to me. Let's see if I can get away from them because I forgot to find my troops. Yeah, not gonna happen. Crap. That that might actually be a horrible mistake to make and all my units may just die. We'll see. <laughs> He's going to drop in on us on the 27th of December, so in just a tiny, tiny moment. Uh, I will actually grab us a leader, even though our army tradition is utter crap. Um, hmm. Actually, I'll uh, make my ruler a commander. And if I had realized that that was a possibility earlier, I might have been able to escape since my l ruler gave me plus two maneuver. Which uh, cuts uh, the amount of time it takes for you to reach other provinces by a lot. Uh, he's crappy otherwise, just one f point of fire. Ah, uh, regardless, that's, that's about the best chance I can give to my troops. Uh, because I suck and I was an idiot and didn't uh, up my uh, expenditure quick enough, so we have a huge penalty in our morale. Ooh, I actually won and I killed all his units. Fantastic! So, even though I derped quite a lot, I didn't derp badly enough, should we say. Oh, I'm just going to, uh, oh well, it immediately built another unit, so just going to keep my expenditure high for the time being, because I need to head there and uh, kill that unit in order to start sieging it. And yeah, uh, all these navies floating about here, uh, they are blockading all my ports, which hurts my income, and uh, yeah gives them insane amounts of uh, war score. And it looks like, yep, they are dropping units on me. So there goes that uh, slim hope that they'd uh, be screwed. <laughs> so, uh, uh, at the end of the month, my units gained uh, a bit of um, morale, so let's go and spank this one 1,000 units army over here. Yep, and there we go. They dropped uh, guys on Vessel, and uh, 
right now it's kind of useless to try and uh, dislodge them from there because their uh, <laughs> amount of units that they have is insane compared to mine. And there we go, there's a uh, Danish army. So I think kind of the best that I can hope is that I grab uh, Riga before uh, they come and try and dislodge me from that province. And uh, that kind of leaves me uh, with one province lost and one gained. <laughs> oh, this is horrible. I didn't foresee uh, Denmark and Sweden declaring war on me at all. I mean, uh, I guess it makes sense. I'm the juiciest target right now. But still, uh, uh, that was really unfortunate. Okay, let me uh, go on explaining about these ideas a bit further. I'm trying to keep an eye on over here if they start moving on me, uh, so I can try to escape. I think I was in aristocratic ideas. So yeah, hostile core creation cost on us. So if uh, uh, if these guys uh, get this province, uh, they will have to pay admin points to start creating a core in there so that it's considered their land. It takes a couple of years and uh, this doubles the cost in admin points to uh, get that core. So this is really irritating <laughs> for your enemies and makes you kind of a worse target for wars. At least wars where you try to gain provinces. Uh, then we have serfdom. Uh, national manpower goes up, so uh, the maximum number of uh, troops that you have for uh, reinforcements goes up a lot. Uh, your leaders uh, naturally have a better shock. You get an extra diplomat. Um, reducing war exhaustion by pressing that one button goes down by fifth. Uh, all military technology for the rest of the game costs you 10% less military points. And finally, your cavalry is just playing better at uh, at all kinds of combat by plus ten percent. Okay, and we have offensive ideas. Uh, your leaders gain same kind of plus one to their shock value, uh, more manpower, uh, leaders better at fire, uh, more prestige from uh, all land battles. Uh, your leaders are better at maneuvering. Again, more. Uh, oh, this is force limit, so you can have bigger armies before they start costing you a lot more money. Uh, discipline is just, um, I think, flat out the damage that your troops do in battle, so the casualties that you cause the enemy to have. And finally, a forced march, which raises uh, your movement speed by a factor of uh, it's 150 percent of normal, uh, and each province you travel whilst it's active costs you like maybe one or two military points so it's really expensive to do but it's really useful for saving your armies and uh, hunting down armies that you have uh, beat in battle but haven't utterly destroyed like they are retreating a few provinces away so force marching your way you land there earlier than they arrive and can actually just uh, beat them to a pulp Okay, defensive ideas, uh, army tradition goes up, so uh, you uh, get better leaders, basically, that's one of the main effects. Uh, the more tradition you have, the better leaders you can get when you expend points to uh, recruit one. Uh, morale of your armies goes up. Uh, morale, m the main effect it has is how long we are, will your troops stay and fight. Um, leaders are better at sieging, so you get a bonus for doing exactly what I am doing right now, just sitting on a uh, province tile and waiting for their uh, fort to yield to you. And uh, um, Maintenance goes down to all your units. Uh, your forts are lots uh, more difficult to break. Um, you get uh, reinforced a lot quicker, so if you suffer casualties, it takes a lot less time to actually get your troops uh, fully, yeah, fully reinforced. Um, 
you suffer less attrition uh, on enemy lands and finally if you get this far all enemies uh, that uh, sit in your provinces during wartime suffer attrition no matter what. Uh, okay, quality ideas, uh, infantry combat modifier goes up so infantry better at combat, uh, morale recovery goes up so you get uh, get to uh, your morale max quicker. Um, cavalry gets better at combat, heavy ships get better at combat, um, your navy recovers morale more quickly, uh, light ships get better at combat and artillery gets better at combat. So basically uh, just everything gets better. Uh, more, uh, or they get their morale back quicker and they do better in, in battles. And this 15 points in discipline, so everything you have inflicts more damage on your enemies. So yeah, everything that you can field is better. And quantity, uh, if, if this is everything you can have is better, this is just you can have more of the same. So cavalry costs less, uh, you get manpower uh, back a lot more quickly, infantry costs less, uh, your maintenance of your land units is less, uh, ships cost you less to recruit, artillery costs you less to recruit, and your manpower goes up way lots, like 150% of normal. And finally, your uh, the amount of troops that you can have uh, in, in your force limits uh, goes up. So, yeah, and uh, all of these cost uh, 400 points, and depending on which tree you take it, uh, yeah, Corlin just fell. They are going to be walking to uh, Senegal to the likelihood, I think. So, yeah, uh, all these cost 400 points to take, but they don't only factor into this uh, group that you take them on, they also uh, factor into your national ideas, which in our case is divine ideas. Um, first one is Holy Order, that gives our units more discipline. Second one uh, gives us a reduced cost for uh, core creation and stability cost. Uh, our forts are more difficult to break down. Our missionaries are better at converting. Mm. Our national garrison growth. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what that means. I think it's like. Uh, how quickly your forts replenish troops that defend them, maybe, um, gives uh, attrition to troops similarly to the defensive idea when they are in your lands. Um, our tax goes up. And then finally, uh, when we get all of this stuff, our um, national manpower goes up by 20%. And uh, just having this idea tree gives us one additional mini missionary and uh, we recover manpower 20% uh, faster. And the way you get these is uh, after getting three points in any groups, so like you can take one here, one here, and one here, and that counts as three. And after getting three, you get this one, after six, this one, after nine, this one, and so on. So uh, getting, uh, getting those ideas uh, stacks up a lot in your favor. So uh, technology isn't the only place that you want to have a lot of points in. The ideas are really, really, really effective as well. Okay, let's see what this event is. Support the Florentine school. Because of our uh, relative notability, we are in position to support the Italian artists in Florentine school. Being perceived as patrons of international art will definitely help our propaganda efforts. Okay, so for 10 years we can have a rather substantial increase in our prestige or we can lose prestige and this will cost us admin power, diplo power and ducats. So that's what, 40 points of prestige in total? Huh. Uh, I'm just going to take the prestige hit. I want to save up my points and we are right now losing money as is because uh, we have to fund our troops which isn't actually 100% true but I kind of want to uh, keep, keep it going 
uh, until Riga falls. Now, um, it does look like we are losing. If you look at this, um, defender holds Riga four points and we are getting blockaded a lot because <laughs> Riga has just one ship over here, one uh, galley and one transport. But because there are loads and loads of uh, Danish and Swedish ships roaming about the place, I can't go punch them in the nose with my boats, so they get kind of free points from blockading me. But as soon as we uh, capture Riga, since that is the only province that nation holds, we should be at 100% war, war score no matter what. So that's kind of what I'm banking on. That. Uh, if we manage to get this, we can just peace out Riga and grab that province no matter what else happens. If, if that happens, I'm, I'm really happy. And then I need to try and peace out Denmark and in some way, I have no idea how. Right now they are just content sitting on this province and making my life miserable. They, for some inexplicable reason, stopped trying to get Özel which is the war score, war, war goal, after all. I have, I have no idea why. I'm getting 4.4 points from just holding that. It's. Uh, I think that goes up to 25 points, so I can actually just by sitting around, if they don't bring more troops and actually take that, I can almost bring it to zero. Uh, our siege progress is at 14% right now, and uh, that means I think it's uh, every time a siege phase which lasts for th uh, 28 days. Each time uh, a phase has rolled over, there is a 14% now that we win and the siege is over. And if we don't win, uh, then uh, this percent may or may not get higher depending on what gets rolled over here and yeah it's 21 now and uh, we have breached the wall so that gives us a bonus uh, we get a penalty for the fort level and the fact that uh, this uh, uh, coastal area isn't being blo uh, blockaded by our ships we also don't have any cannons and our leader doesn't have any skill in siege we get some uh, bonus from the fact that the siege has lasted for as long as it has, which is uh, nine points right now, I think. So yeah, uh, eventually this is going to fall. Uh, each 28 days gives us a 25% chance right now for, for it to fall. And uh, yeah, it's just a waiting game right now. Uh, where were we? IDs we covered. Okay, uh, I've already talked about missions. We are hopefully going to uh, succeed in this shortly. That gives us a couple of points of prestige, which we are bound to lose once <laughs> we peace out Denmark, because uh, yeah, we are going to have to, at the very least, concede defeat and maybe give them some gold and maybe do something else as well. Uh, however, these uh, national decisions I haven't yet touched, aside from going, whoa, we can actually create Germany for some weird reason. Um, but there are other things that come available if certain uh, ideas are met. Like, uh, we need to have unlocked the serfdom idea. I don't know where it is, but it's, it's here somewhere. Yeah, here, aristocratic idea serfdom. So we need to have unlocked that and have a ruler with administrative skill of at least four. And if those are true, we can do this, uh, which would increase our increase narrow-minded for 10 years, uh, which gives us better missionaries and uh, raises our technology cost. So that is just for 10 years game time. But until the end of the game, we would get uh, reduced cost for increasing our stability but a penalty to our relations over time with other countries. Uh, okay, so this would give us inv inflation, but more administrative power, and this would give us a tiny bit more admin power. So I'll just take the tiny bit and not eat the inflation, since uh, we have no way of lowering that. And uh, yeah, there are loads and loads of these uh, 
and more may come available as we gain tech and maybe even take over other port parts of the world the more uh, things that might come available i have no idea what many of these do uh, some are just flat out bonuses like this one act of uniformity uh, if we have eight in admin tech we can do this and this will give our missionaries plus one strength uh, okay uh, Riga just fell, and yes, it's exactly as I hoped it would be. Our war score is 100, so we can uh, piece them out and demand basically whatever we damn well please. Let's check, just out of curiosity, how much money they have. Can I? Yeah, shift click uh, the maximum amount. So, uh, 67 ducats. Yeah, I could do that. Unfortunately. Um, if you demand annexation, you can't take anything else. That'll give us. Uh, this is the, this is the downside. This is the nasty bit. Aggressive expansion. Uh, that'll hurt our relations with Teutonic Order, Lithuania, Riga. Doesn't matter because it doesn't exist after this. But Denmark, no, uh, Novgorod, Pskov, and Hansa. So if you do. Uh, uh, take provinces in war, you will get aggressive expansion and that can spiral into a situation where everyone just hates you. So you need to be really careful about how many uh, provinces you take and from whom you take, the, take it. And in what way. But this, uh, I, I will eat the ex aggressive expansion here. Uh, it will cost us 25 diplomatic power, which we will get back because we uh, fulfill the uh, objective of our mission so yep I'm just going to send the demand and ding there we go save the Prussian people in Riga gain five prestige oh no that wasn't actually uh, we didn't get the admin po uh, or the diplo power pack but we did get some prestige out of that and we get a, a province that is already our culture and already Catholic so as soon as we get um, uh, get our own core in here, spend 95 administrative power, and it takes 19 months. Oof. But the fact that we have a claim here uh, lessens the cost. So I think we should start it just right away and hope that no one takes this province away from us. <laughs> okay. That is that. So, um,. I have no way of fighting these guys, so I'm actually just going to drop my maintenance down to minimum and just try to run away from these guys if they decide to jump me and... Uh, uh, okay, we can form an alliance with the Teutons again. I'm not against that at all. Unfortunately, we can't. Uh, order. Hmm? Ah, right. Our opinion of them is so low because they refused to help us in our war and they dishonored the alliance. So we can't really get an alliance with them, e even though uh, they like us. We hate them. So we need to wait for ages and ages until those uh, penalties go down before we can actually ally with them again. Oh, that's kind of crappy. Oh well. Uh, let's see if we can actually piece out the Danes in any... W no. <laughs> uh, here you can see the positive 3, negative 73. So they have for war score, they hold uh, their own uh, capital of Shelland and uh, length of the war favors them because it hasn't been going on for long enough to te for their uh, uh, nationalists uh, or yeah. their citizen to get pissed off at just being constantly at war. Uh, their military strength relative to us and the allies they have and their power compared to ours so th they, they're just they're just not interested. I mean we could uh, we could just give them everything forever. 
uh, give them that. Get rid of our deals. Transfer. Yeah, we could give them everything we have, and they would just go nope. <laughs> so there is no chance in hell of us uh, actually um, piecing out Denmark. They 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 are just uh, completely content sitting there and causing our economy to collapse utterly. And yeah, there's not a damn thing we can do about it. <laughs> oh, heck. Uh, it's really soon we are going to have to start taking out... Oh, actually our balance is relatively a-okay. It's not going down as badly as it was because our maintenance is now almost zero. But yeah, uh, sooner or later we might have to start taking out loans and at that point things slowly spiral out of control, our economy will fall flat on its face and we'll get horrible, horrible revolt risks and uh, all that other good, other good stuff. So <laughs> I really hope they will piece us out at some point. And uh, it wouldn't matter right now if we were to ally ourselves with someone, if they even wanted to accept an alliance. The, I, we couldn't call them to war because it's been going on for longer than I think maybe 60 days or something. And uh, if it's been going on for more than 60 days, the um, penalty that you get for asking someone to join it goes to like a thousand. So you can never ever ask anyone to join your wars that have been going on for X amount of time. You just have to find a way to piece out your opposition. Okay, um, let's see. Who can we kissy kissy and make good with? Uh, we, we have a free diplomat which isn't really doing diddly squat, so... Uh, yeah, here you can see of our al alliance in the Veronian opinion of Livonian order. Oh well, it's actually that. It's giving us minus thousand. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, let's um, improve relations with uh, Novgorod just in the vain hopes that they might uh, not consider us a juicy little fruit to pick at some point, like going after Norva or something. And at some point we can just stop uh, improving uh, relations with uh, Teutons because our relations are a okay on that side and um, all we can hope is that they start improving relations with us so that we can actually do this Diplo thing because yeah our relations are crap right now and will remain so for quite some time. Uh, it'll get better by 5.2 uh, points for the next uh, eight years. After that the fact that they refuse to join our war has gone away. But after after that it doesn't move an inch because fought to the end uh, and dishonored alliance only equal like one point so they cancel each other out so this will never ever get to positives when we can actually uh, suggest an alliance to them unless um oh and uh, there we go the danes are on the move to senegalia i'm going to move away from there in the main hopes that they uh, <laughs> won't try to kill me. Yeah, they are content to siege my provinces. Uh, so yeah, uh, that, that alliance isn't going to happen unless they start uh, kissy-kissing uh, us diplomatically. Ah, so please Denmark, please send me a peace deal. I'll be happy to accept it because yeah, this not really anything I can do about it other than just accept. <laughs> uh, yeah, my paws are being blockaded. I know. 